Haugen says Facebook understood the danger to the 2020 election, so it turned on safety systems to reduce misinformation. But many of those changes, she says, were temporary. And as soon as the election was over, they turned them back off, or they changed the settings back to what they were before to prioritize growth over safety. And that really feels like a betrayal of democracy to me. Facebook says some of the safety systems remained. But after the election, Facebook was used by some to organize the January 6th insurrection. Prosecutors cite Facebook posts as evidence, photos of armed partisans, and text including, by bullet or ballot, restoration of the republic is coming. Extremists used many platforms, but Facebook is a recurring theme. After the attack, Facebook employees raged on an internal message board copied by Haugen. Haven't we had enough time to figure out how to manage discourse without enabling violence? We looked for positive comments and found this. I don't think our leadership team ignores data, ignores dissent, ignores truth. But that drew this reply. Welcome to Facebook. I see you just joined in November 2020. We have been watching wishy-washy actions of company leadership for years now. Colleagues cannot conscience working for a company that does not do more to mitigate the negative effects of its platform. Facebook essentially amplifies the worst of human nature. It's one of these unfortunate consequences, right? No one at Facebook is malevolent, but the incentives are misaligned, right? Like Facebook makes more money when you consume more content. People enjoy engaging with things that elicit an emotional reaction. And the more anger that they get exposed to, the more they interact and more they consume.